The Ashley Tisdale Mansion sucks. Does it? Inside Ashley Tisdale's self-designed family home. Is Ashley Tisdale doing well? I used to be such... Why did this come up? <laughs> Ashley Tisdale Mansion brought up Jackson and I's Man of Medan... Uh, what was this one called? The Man of Medan anthology game. Hey, I mean, fuck yeah. When, I guess when people think of Ashley Tisdale's Mansion, they also think of us playing a shitty horror game. Because she voices it. <laughs> Wait, no way. If I just type in Ashley Tisdale, will this come up too? Uh, unlucky. Not quite. Only when I'm more specific. Hey, AD, it's Ashley Tisdale. Hey, what Ashley. She's the main character this in it. This house was very I completely different forgot. because everything else before this house, I have completely worked on. My first home was like built from the ground up for my dad. And we continued that process through many homes. I just made the choice that, Ooh. you know what? I feel like we cool should pool find for laps. Moving I'm always a big believer in manifestation. This time, I mean, we this? just went with like- Is this a fountain? This seems like, like an accident. Like there was a hose that was left here next to a rock, like a, like a small little table. Not a big fan of that fountain, I'll tell you right now. Uh, the rugs are from Mayraban rugs, which are like my favorite. Basically These are in this normal room, rugs. I went off of this light that was already here. And it looks fine. And I just liked how there was yellow in it. And so I saw this chair at a store called Guard that I shop at a lot. And I was just like, I have to get this. This tree just got here. It doesn't look like I'm a very comfortable chair. I'm scared about chair. bringing trees into the house because I'm not very good at keeping them alive. <laughs> so I'm really scared, but I think we're gonna go do well with this one. And seeing like little spots where I could like add color to it. And what that universe made me is like feel a like, oh, this is gonna be a fun home. Like I wanted to kind of do neutral, neutral, chic, but also quirky and fun because a baby is gonna be obviously brought into this house and she loves it. And I got this from JF Chen. I definitely have taken a nap here. It's my little me time. I mean, that looks like, like okay, pretty comfortable. I'm not going to lie. Minute refresh. This house is very bright. It's very I, I kind of like that chair. It's what we loved about it. We should be like collecting books over time Why? and putting them in the shelves. And I was like, no, 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 no. Not when AD comes. <laughs> who cares? It's a fucking book. Who cares? Like, who fucking cares? It's just a bookshelf. Don't put so much thought into it. Just fill it with like Harry Potter and Magic Treehouse. Who cares? So this is the dining room. The first piece that I started This mansion's not even shitty. It's just boring. This apparatus chandelier. I thought it was so quirky and fun. I got this table Very from quirky, Guard. I guess. And I also got these chairs custom made from Stall and Band, which I love the wow, green because we're in the trees and I just felt like it really picked up on that. Oh my god, that seems very awful. Funny story about this table. Like sitting so on the Cookie the Monster's nutsack. Made and it came and it only fit six chairs. And I was like, oh my god. Thankfully, the guys at guard were so sweet. And it's they're like, Lorax no, chairs. Back. And so that was my first mistake. <laughs> yeah, I skinned the Lorax. <laughs> <laughs> these stools are from Thomas Hayes. Hey, good work, and Thomas. what I loved about these is that like, like the shit. leather ages. And so one of the things about this kitchen specifically and about the house was when we saw it, there was a guy living here and so it's very masculine. And I'm always about feminine and masculine balance. And so I mean? love that this warms up the room a bit. What the Weird. fuck? How is this feminine and masculine balance? They're chairs. I mean, just chairs and, and bowls. And like a rolling pin in a vase. Why? What is up with this trend of looking so deep into shit? You walk into a room and you're like, oh fuck. Way too masculine. This is so basic and boring. And it's missing a pantry. I knew obviously all the vendors and <coughs> they come really into <coughs> kitchens even though I don't use them very often. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, Ashley. I didn't hear you. I was getting a good stretch going. Something about designing though. Good shit. So this is Jupiter's room. When we were prepping for Jupiter to come, the walls were white just like the rest of the house. I did have this Kalen Studios crib, which is like the best non-toxic crib on the market. So I was what really excited to get- What the fuck does that mean? A non-toxic crib? What, do they usually make cribs out of lead and arsenic? What does that mean? Eco-friendly and non-toxic crib. Best non-toxic cr- this, this sounds like a scam. Like organic oranges or something. No gamers were harmed in its making. Nice. So what is a toxic 
crib look like? What is it made out of? I want to get my kids something that's going to really put some hair on their chest. I want it to emit at least maybe like three bananas worth of radiation. How about this? How about toxic crib? Or what cribs are toxic? Is your baby's crib exposing them to toxins? Certain paints, glues, woods, and plastics can emit harmful chemicals and gases known to cause co cognitive delays, chronic health issues such as allergies, asthma, kidney failure, ki Jesus, kidney failure, cancer, and more. Knowing that your newborn baby will be spending 16 to 18 hours a day in their crib, it is vitally important to make the most educated decision on which one you're choosing. Can you give me an example of one that does that? VOCs are gases emitted from certain woods, glues, and paint finishes. So formaldehyde, benzene, phenthol, I don't even know this one, phthalates, and a slew of other gases I can't pronounce. Oh, it's like I'm reading it and wrote it. Whatever the name, I certainly don't want them anywhere near my baby. So this is one of those things where, like, you look at the back of a cereal box and you don't recognize three ingredients and immediately assume it's poison? Or is this a real thing? Holy shit, you can make meth with cribs. It is a real thing. It's mostly bullshit. Yes and no. It seems more people are saying it is a real thing. I've never heard of it before. I'm genuinely asking. I've never heard of, like, cribs exposing babies to toxin. Now, I did know about baby food exposing them to toxins. Because there was a lot of, like, actual, like, arsenic and shit in baby products. But I've never heard of, like, a non-toxic crib. Shout out, Gerber. Yeah, amen, Gerber. Rest in peace, all those infants that were eating meat sticks. Like me. Bro, I was eating, I was eating OG meat sticks, bro. I was getting, like, double the daily recommended dose of arsenic for a baby. I went to town on these bad boys. Anyone ever... We have any meat sticks fans in here? Or I think they're called Lil Sticks. Oh, yeah. Where, where's my Lil Sticks fans at? These bad boys, oh, they, they'll they make you grow up big and strong. It's called Vienna Sausages. Nope, they're called Lil Sticks. Vienna Sausages probably have significantly less poison in them than the Gerber variant. was so excited just because I love the texture of it, and I was like, oh my god, this is going to look so amazing. I bet Furniture that's a pretty comfortable pieces chair. pieces can be done and, fit and put in other rooms and fit in other rooms. Like, that was something that was really important to me. There's that, prime milk. you know, wherever we go next, if we do, that this stuff can come with us. And This mansion I really isn't bad. It's just really, really basic just and boring. Like, I, night Except for whatever um, this was, like a giant blunt or something. What did, what the fuck is that? Yeah, I mean, it's like, again, it's not even bad. It's just boring. I don't know why he singled out the Ashley Tisdale mansion. All right, tin mansions no one wants to buy for any price. Former mayor's house in Jordan, Minnesota. Sounds awesome. Many of the entries on this list have had trouble selling because they're downright spooky. But this first house is not one of those haunted mansions. This one remains on the housing market for a much more earthly problem. The four-bedroom mansion, formerly the home of the first female mayor oh, of Minnesota, is zoned incorrectly and needs oh. to be moved. It has no parking and no hookup to the town's water and sewage system. <laughs> and to make matters worse, while the outside looks lovely, the inside is more than a little out of style. That's how the house ended up with its unusual price tag. It's free. The current owner, what? the granddaughter or former mayor Gail Anderson, said in an interview that it's going to cost $50,000 to move it and $150,000 to fix it up. So I'm not giving away some hidden gem. No indeed. But free is still pretty cheap for a house of this size and This is like interest. a wet dream for well squatters probably wouldn't even live here, but like homeless people. Too. No one came forward who was willing to make the move happen. Why? Even after the developers who bought the lot offered $10,000 toward the cost of moving the beautiful old house. In the end, the town's Historic Preservation Commission lost out, and the historic mansion was demolished. Oh. No one wanted it, even for just $10. There's oh. no way. There's no fucking way someone wouldn't take that for 10 bucks. Like, moving it, yeah, it would cost quite a bit, I guess, but... There's, there's no way someone wouldn't do that. Taxes? I guess. I, I don't know. There has to be more to it than just, like, the movement hassle. They have to move after a while. Yeah, but they only needed to move it a quarter mile. Yeah, I, I don't know what the tax would be on it, but still. I'm sure you could somehow turn a profit on it. Like, that's just a lot of land. Tillamook Island Lighthouse. Oh my god, Another that'd be the most miserable place to live. To a normal homeowner Holy shit. Is the Eight, the Hex House. 
Another house with a chilling past. A I'm so tired of these fucking haunted houses, man. Ghosts aren't real. Earth is flat. Wubba lubba dub dub. Traditional healer known locally as a powwow doctor, meaning he practiced faith healing and witchcraft traditions brought over by Pennsylvania. That's not a mansion. Yeah, it definitely isn't a mansion. Ray Meyer lived in the house until 1928. When a man named John H. Blymeyer also... I'd love to do a haunted house stream. It'd just be super boring because nothing would happen. His house with two so we have to set up scares. Undone. What happened that made them suddenly shutter the house's doors and windows? We may never know, but we do know that no one seems to want to live in Go to a road trip to supposedly haunted places? There's no, plenty of haunted places Carolina's right here. William T. Smith house. It's just nothing happens. The William T. Smith House, an abandoned mansion in North One of the Carolina. buildings on my college this campus is one of the most haunted places in Florida. As a plantation around so people just hang out there late at night and nothing would happen, land, ever. Right next to a civil Myself war included. Cemetery. What could have happened that 50 Cent's mansion sold for $2 million when it was valued at $18 million? Let us know in what? the comments. And that kind of came out of nowhere. Probably wasn't haunted. Up and subscribe to this channel for more spine-chilling information like this. By far the best one on there was that lighthouse. By, and by best, I mean like actually the worst possible place to live. I couldn't imagine living in a worse place. Constantly getting blasted by massive waves, isolated from the rest of society, and the place you're living on is basically a graveyard anyway. That is the worst possible situation. No internet, no electricity, no one. And the only way to get food is to go in inland with a boat. And have to wait for the waves to stop being so rough. Get food from the ocean. I guess you could try fishing for the food. Who built it though? Couldn't tell you, but apparently it was didn't even serve the one purpose it was meant for. It was supposed to be a lighthouse to stop ships from crashing into it, but they built it too late. Ship crashed into it and killed all 16 people. So the thing is just all around a failure. And it's probably haunted. If anything's haunted, it's going to be that place. Those sailors are probably pissed. Because they had most of it up, but just didn't install the light, apparently, according to that video. It's like, you couldn't just, like, why not start with the light? Just put, like, a light on a stick while you build everything else. $25 million Vegas futuristic mansion if you want to see a shithole. Sure. Inside a $25 million futuristic Las Vegas modern mega mansion, this is 50 minutes. Usually his videos are, like, 10 or 15 He's a bit smack. I'll watch a little of it. See if it captures me. It currently serves as a show home for Blue Heron. And for that, I really want to thank them for getting us in here, allowing us to tour their amazing development and share it with all of you. And now, let's begin our tour. Yeah, 15,000 square feet for three bedrooms sounds fucking stupid. This looks like the house in the first level of Hitman. True. You already did this? Did we see this one? I don't think so. I think the one you're thinking of is that futuristic mega mansion in California. The one where like the coolest thing they had was like a little touchpad that made steel shutters pop down. I don't think we saw this one. The view is really cool. I love this space because we have walls of glass bringing a ton of natural light to the interiors. We have a desk. You said this was a shithole. This doesn't look like a shithole at all. They brought some of the planter details into this space as well, but Here's a prime we're going squiddy. with that rusted court tent, the patio space for the office. I love how they landscape this entire space with native materials and plants from Nevada. Man, I, I, I would hate that. Nice that Bro, I'm living in Nevada. I've spent $25 million on a mansion. The last thing I want is cacti in my house and dirt. You can see the stuff in like detail on the exterior, sand. pretty much going into the interiors as well. So like, you have I'm in a house to get away from that. First thing we see is the incredible views of Las Vegas Strip. This frame, without a doubt, is one of the Jesus most Christ, there's cacti everywhere. In case you want to close this walkway. Now, you may ask why you want to close that walkway, because on my right hand side... This would be the worst house to live in if you were drunk. Which we're gonna tour later Stumbling home now. late at night, like just but trying to go to your bed, you just fall into this fucking this pool. Because you're surrounded by a moat, and then stumble into cacti. Framing the amazing space. And like I mentioned earlier, this house has three pools. This happens to be one of them. Now, this is not a pool, though. Look at what, like, what, that's not a pool. That's probably not even like a foot deep. It is just rocks that have a little bit of water on top of them. That is not a goddamn pool. Like this is worthless. Like you can't swim in this. You can walk on it, like to your shins, I guess, maybe. 
No, you genuinely can't swim in this. Unless you're like a smurf, I guess. Like, there's nothing you can do to swim in that. Unless it just deceptively looks shallow. Ton of natural light, and we currently have all the automatic sliding glass doors opened up, tucked into the walls, where you can appreciate these views even more. I mean, we have. Do they not have the bugs in Nevada? Right in front of us. I feel like and all the cacti so and shit would definitely bring in some bugs. This room just feels all the features that comes with the house. Yeah. Wanted to mention that. Thanks, you give sub zero. We're in the kitchen, but I'm actually seeing more details. I love throughout these exterior walkways, we saw these plants with gravels right next to the pass, right? They Man, stop the calling them plants. The indoors of the home. They're not plants, they they're like fucking built in weaponry. So at night, this place actually like something you'd have for plants for zombies. See that main island, we have same travertine countertops here, beautifully fabricated sink design. And let's see, we have. Oh, this yeah. Here again, going with that seamless clean look. And right behind me, we have more. A kid could not visit this house. Cabinetry. Yeah, they're not welcome here. Wolf induction cook. They have nature's here. barbed wire built into it. Travertine countertop. All the cacti here everywhere. I would like to talk about here. Those kids would so not survive. Feel details throughout so far. Without a doubt, it's one of the best lit laundry rooms we've ever toured on this channel. This this is a laundry room. Yeah, it looks like a nice office or a seating area. Yeah, I thought this was maybe. Mikey, I swear to God. Mikey, let's make it clear. I'm about to fire you. Opening this uh, sliding. <gasps> glass door this is where you have your washer and dryer you nicely weren't, you weren't lying yeah so that's that this that's giant space for just one cabinets. washer and one dryer <laughs> opening up the small court not even the six space that we're gonna see in a bit desk set up here this is crazy yeah it's really nice and i gotta say guys, you uh, we are in does it ever get windy in outside, las vegas so, yeah, Zenith talks about the outside i've never been is there a lot of wind to, uh, to compensate but it's tough it's tough so give mike a little slack there yeah Extremely. I feel like having these windows open surrounded by cacti is really dangerous when it comes to like getting super windy. Imagine it just wiggles one of them loose and you just got a fucking airborne cactus coming at you. I don't know how heavy these kind of cacti are though. The ones I know are like super light. Now, in this house, it's all open, walls of glass that takes it straight to the outdoors. Beautiful table. Yeah, everything leads to the outdoors, it seems. This whole fucking house is open. Which I guess would be cool if it wasn't just surrounded by cacti. Dining room light detail that I had to point out because it's so unique. Now, Mikey, let's check out some outdoor spaces. Into the desert we go. And your wolf gas barbecue. This section is also. Alright, what else do they have that isn't just the same fucking garbage over and over? It's like a city like Las Vegas exists because it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. But look at the scenery here, this whole establishment and the city. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a nice view. Modern homes. I mean, uh, it's mind boggling. You'll get no complaint from me. Travel destinations in the country. Probably in the world, Mike. Built in the middle of the desert. It's all, yeah, it's always fascinating to me, too. Like, it, how Las Vegas was even. Bro, I don't care about the lore of Las Vegas. I really don't. House with a little bit of a recessed in lighting right behind it. Amazing setup, stone walls. <laughs> 15,000 square feet, you get three and bedrooms, and they look like this. Is a little bit lower, so you no can TV. Advantage of the reflecting pool. It's a nice little detail. I always love those kinds of beds, also. With the built-in storage and all that? Yeah. I get that. All right, right <laughs> behind the bedroom setup. You said something stupid, Mikey. Section. You said something really dumb. We have some built-in spud, and I realized I found this detail. Check this out. It oh, it's a self-destruct so device. Controls for the fixtures. Ready, Mikey? Whoa! For warming truck? Yeah, for, for your towels. towels. Okay. And I like how you said that if that's not good enough, you have a rain head. But if that shower is not good enough... Oh, yeah. I mean, we're going to check that out in a bit. Yeah. We got a oh, lot of okay. Oh, all right. Oh, 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 okay, right I got my the interest. The primary bath. Actually, let me tuck this in. It's one of these door designs that we like. And opens up. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty fucking the cool. bathroom, you get a sink design here. Dishwasher. Some cabinets, same traversing countertop. Yeah, also fuck with that. Kitchen. They also use it here. That's so unnecessary. Now, this section is all open, and we're going to come to that in a bit. But first, I want to take everybody. And yep, first thing I want to step on is rocks when I come out of the shower. Open. We have these yeah, you're going to build up calluses right quick in this place. This primary closet. Another freestanding tub on the outside. So in case you want to just soak up here, look at the views. You can easily do that. Now, following this walkway. Wow. <laughs> wow. Again, from the primary bedroom seating area and as we continue more of these core 10 steel planters side of the I think I would really like this a lot more if it wasn't actually section. surrounded we by booby traps with all these cacti instead of gutters 
to give that mid-century modern look. And I think I'd find it a lot cooler. Way takes you. All right, everyone. Here we are at the second floor landing. We have the staircase going up. To the that was only floor. the We're first floor. Holy here, shit. Nice and open. We got a beautiful couch set up here facing the incredible views. And I know I talked about this at the backyard. This house has a butterfly roof line and we can actually Behop CSGO the map with here. rock pits. Bro, this shit is like what Macaulay Culkin would have dreamed of. It is burglar proof. Someone comes in to try and steal your Xbox or something, they're running into 9,000 cacti on the way. Yeah, a lot of cool uh, unfolding TVs here. A lot of cool gadgets too, right? All right, let's look at this section for a second. We have an outdoor Like, you're not even safe on the second floor if you try and repel in. There's just cacti up here too. We'll check out this section in a bit. We actually have a curtain set up that kind of separates and creates a little bit privacy for the I wish for one of these like crazy modern wall, mansions with futuristic right tech the they just had an actual ejector seat in one of their chairs like Johnny English or something the view of Las then Vegas Ennis the takes stretch. it for a test this drive this massive opening it almost creates this wind tunnel that goes through the house it creates that nice breeze and it's just this awesome architectural kind of frame can you turn I it off very unique both from the outside can I close the that the section is all covered opens up to the bathroom which we're gonna see in a bit. But That's gonna be here, miserable when it gets really hot. Showers with rain heads above us. Closed, you can shoot intruders from there. <laughs> this massive yeah, I can't wait till we get to the third floor with the sniper's uh, nest. Standing tub here, washer and dryer just for this bedroom. Things are so easy. Wrapping around and snazzy cabinets. Overall, great bedroom suite. I love Prime that. Salad. Closet is nicely tucked into the back with a washer and dryer. Do you, uh, I guess this is a question to chat. Do you think there has ever been a single point in history where someone actually used one of these kind of bathtubs? Like these goofy little half eggs? I can't imagine this is like a comfortable thing to sit in. They have to just be for show, right? Like this is some old tiny shit. You're basically just sitting in like a fucking bucket. Just a flat bottom. Looks miserable. My house is literally bigger than this. <laughs> all right man all right jesus christ didn't realize we had jeff bezos son in here goddamn it's meant for tall people just because i'm short doesn't mean that i'd find it like less comfortable than a tall person who it is a goddamn tub sitting on a pile of rocks and it's a flat bottom like this just looks miserable you've clearly never been in a half egg i, I i've never been in a tub that looks like this in fact, the last time I was in a tub was probably when I was like 12 years old. So maybe I just hate bathtubs, I don't know. Those V-shapes with the steel panels, they have it also here, huh. and the brass inlay. But this Let's go, the V! Let's v. fucking go! Feels very exquisite. And right behind me, we have a kind of a- That's what wall. it's all about. Michael, let's focus to the views for a second. Where's the marble? Yeah, no it's marble, incredible. actually, if you can believe that. Views are a tiny bit more elevated. Again, kind of a waste. Las Vegas views, the strip views, right no marble, no purchase. And this throughout the property. Yeah, it's really incredible. incredible. It is. It is breathtaking. Mike, I know we talked about this. This is the cantilevered exterior staircase that we saw from the backyard. I mean, just walking to the edge, looking Thanks at the some views. Thanks, Yusuf. This is such a unique... Uh, the view is not bad. Like, it's really not. It's, it's a cool view. Uh, like, they showed it at night. It was cool. The only thing that makes it less cool is that you're just surrounded by a lot of dirt. It looks like this was like the first development they did here. So it was just a bunch of dirt and then I guess they're building like a, a mini-me mansion over here. But like if you look past the dirt and past the desert, you can see life in the distance. And god damn it, that's worth something. Detail of this home. If you don't want to shower indoors... Right behind that walk-in shower, you can shower outdoors. You're seeing the water. Water is Vegas, Mikey. I didn't even realize this one was there. Let's go. Oh, yeah, that's really cool. Super cool, right? Overall, I like it. Bedroom and great that one's even more dangerous than the other one. They got three tall boy cacti. Bedroom. Let's take a look at the pack. And wrapping around, we have the... Wait, is that real? Oh shit, I live a few blocks from this house. I do contracting for real estate here in Vegas. In my experience, it's fucking stupid not to have... It's fucking stupid not to have plant a bunch of trees with big properties like this for more natural shade. There's no damn natural shade. It's the first house they built on that McDonald Ranch hillside. So it's literally the outskirt of Vegas with mostly desert around you. Plus you're going to get snakes, scorpions, and coyotes. So little pets, so no little pets or they might get fucking eaten. That's exactly what I said, man. Like, 
This is an action. They brought the desert to your $25 million house. You are going to have so many bugs and shit in this place. That's exactly what I fucking said. It is an actual safety hazard to live here. Like, you might as well just live in the desert. Well, not really. I mean, there's a lot more luxury here. But you get the point. It's nothing but dirt, rock, and cacti. And it's all open. Everything about this home is so decked up. Now, we kind of forgot this. Not forgot this, but I want to take everybody to this corner. So, hold on. Decked up. Now, we kind Real of estate guy, if you're still here, I'm beyond curious. It looks like a lot of the shit in this house doesn't close. So I, I recognize that this will close, but on a lot of other places, especially on the second floor, it looks like they just have open areas with no way of closing it. Is that normal in Las Vegas? Just to leave that shit wide fucking open? Like, I have to imagine in, in a desert, there's also going to be like, maybe like sand getting kicked up. No, 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 like I said, this closes. I'm more talking about, like, second floor and shit. And even just looking outside here, this doesn't close. This is just all open right here on this balcony. But to some of the rooms, they just have actual openness that looks like there is no way of closing it down. And having an outdoor space like this right next to your You watch the whole video? Wow. I was at... Yeah, you're right. I actually kind of got drawn into it. City and the strip right in front of us. It, this is, like, a bafflingly weird house. And that's pretty much it for the tour of this home. But as we always do, we're going to spend... You went wrong. This shit was goofy. Sun to go down so we can hey, fuck like yeah. That. Thanks for the raid, Atriok. Hope you had a great stream. You just missed a, uh... Well, basically $25 million to commit suicide in this house. There's no way anyone's living here for an extended period of time. Looks better at night. Well, that's what I said. Also, this is really... This is cute. I like how they're taking it of just the city so you don't see all the dirt and nothingness and barren wasteland in front of the house, which we already saw. Very clever. Very good, Ines. Very good. Down in the description of this video. Lastly, hey, thanks, Ines. If you enjoyed the tour, just make sure to give us a like. Subscribe I'll have to pass on this one, though. We'll see you guys Not enough rocks. Well, you weren't wrong. That was far sillier than I expected it to be. Surely this isn't the same house, right? Watch NS's newest video. He checks out Will Smith's $2.5 million motorhome. We've already seen that, though. We saw that a long time ago. It's cool, but it's not as, like, wacky and wild as you'd expect. This is like a motorhome that, like, breathes. I don't know, it's closer to a transformer than a mo- You know, fuck it, we'll just watch it again. I, I haven't seen Innes go through it. What's up, everybody? It. It's Innes here, and welcome to another episode. Yeah, it's like a cool little Austin, Autobot. Texas. Absolutely, and... Each one of these mobile homes uh, were used by celebrities. I mean, we have the RV of Jennifer Lopez here. Vin what Diesel. the fuck is that? Bro, she looks like a meat locker. Wow. Damn, that's hardcore. That's like something out of Twisted Metal. Bro, that thing just looks mean. AC diffusers are nicely recessed into the ceiling. And come in here, we have all these storage closets. Mm -hmm. Right behind me is actually a door. How do you like this house? Very futuristic sounding. Star Trek door. Yeah. Like that. And we have this room here. Now, this room is really important because this is where Will Smith gets ready. Mm -hmm. You have the makeup artist here come through this exterior door on the back. And you have all these This is where closets. Will Smith gets ready? You have the small mirror here. Let's go. Toilet set up right here. And this is an interesting space between the first floor and second floor. And we have Looks a bit claustrophobic. I mean, it's an RV, man. To the top floor of course of it will this be RV. where's the bedroom at in this place though huh where's will smith get some sleep oh there it is and that must be where his wife cheats on him a little now, extramarital really affairs up there huh? pretty awesome right now second floor right there we have a hundred inch drop down projector screen this is your projector. Well, that's pretty cool. And it's just awesome. You have automatic shades throughout. And let's go check Was out. Was that really a hundred inches? And it's just awesome. Drop down projector screen. I feel like he's lying to me. There's literally zero percent chance that's a hundred inch. A hundred inch would be much more than that. Camera makes it look smaller, you think? I don't know, man. Uh, maybe you're right. I just find that hard to believe. I feel like you're just making some shit up. This looks like maybe a 50 inch. It is without a doubt one of the most unique vehicles we have ever seen on this channel. That was very unique. I only remembered a little of that. I don't remember who toured it last time, but someone went around and like speed ran it. Ennis gave so much more care to it. 
treated her with the respect she deserved. 